With the 14th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Denver Nuggets select Michael Porter Jr. from the University of Missouri. All smiles now because once you're selected, the goal is just to produce. He'll have that opportunity, and we hope certainly that he's at full health. As you probably know, lower back surgery in late November. At that time, prior to the surgery, he was listed by our Jonathan Gavoni as the second overall pick. Didn't win in either game when he came back at the end of the season as Missouri was beaten in the SEC tournament by Georgia and then lost the first game of the NCAA tournament. But Michael Porter Jr., an immense talent, and now Denver at 14, figuring he might as well spin that wheel of fortune. Well, I do think we're right in saying that he has the ability on the offensive end of a number one overall pick. He's a very gifted athlete, very fluid at, at 6'10 with a seven foot wingspan and very skilled. But where he really excels is shooting the basketball. A very high release, he can elevate on his shot. Uh, he picks and pops uh, to three point range. He does have the ability to defend with his wingspan and athleticism. There have been questions about his toughness. Obviously, we at 14, you're never going to get a player uh, of this caliber unless there are question marks, and the question mark being his back and his, his health long term. But if the, the Nuggets have satisfied themselves that that's not a problem, they very well could have gotten a steal here. And listen, guys, I'm going to assume that he's healthy, and if he is, he reminds me of a young, Young Kevin Durant. I mean, great length, beautiful jump shot, can score off of the dribble. You put him in the mid post area or the elbow area, he's a nightmare to guard, and he, he, he has a passion to score the basketball, similar to KD. Boy, you just had to really give it to those poor fans in Seattle by showing KD in the Seattle <laughs> uniform, didn't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Michael Porter Jr. on his way to Denver, and he's with Maria. You know, Michael, you described your playing career as riding the elevator until your injury, and then you had to take the stairs. So describe what it's like to get through all of that adversity and make it to this stage still as a lottery pick. Man, all I can say is it's a blessing. You know, I'm not entitled to this. Everything's a blessing, um, and I'm so excited. Um, you know, my path was different, a little different than everybody else's, but I'm going to make sure that this pick is this organization's best pick they've ever made. You said one of the big questions that you had to answer throughout the draft process was, will you be able to have a long playing career? How would you address that question right now? I, I have no, no concerns, man. I'm just happy to be with the team that, you know, believes in me. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't feel entitled to this. It's a blessing. I'm happy to be a Denver Nugget. All right. So anyone who hasn't seen your game, describe it for them. Oh, uh, you know, I'm a player, um, you know, that, that can do it all. I think when I'm on the floor, you always have a chance to win. Um, I'll never disappear on the floor. And um, you know I'm a winner, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna help this team win. Is it your expectation to play next season and in summer league? That's my expectation. Um, you know I'm feeling good, and you know it's just giving me extra pep in my step, so I'm feeling good. <laughs> I think Michael Porter Jr. brings versatility to any team, and I, I think that's the one thing they're special at. You know, it's funny having PB here. The one question for him has been, can he find that place that he has that dog mentality? Um, Not you, Michael Porter. No, right, Michael yeah. Porter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because <laughs> we he, know you've got it. We've heard people say that. Um, you know, he, I think sometimes you see this with guys who have a lot of skill. Okay, he has the body, he has the skill set for it, but does he have the drive? Mm -hmm. Does he have that drive to go next level? And I think that's the only thing that's looming around Michael Porter Jr. Also, I've heard some hesitation after he gave some of his comparisons about who he thought he played like. <laughs> right. um, which, look, I mean, you need confidence. I just don't know if you need that kind of confidence out loud. It's the full full quote, though, you have to say, because he listed what off he, like four say? elite players. It was oh, Kevin Durant, no, Giannis I, Antetokounmpo. Who were the other ones? It was K KD, 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 Giannis. Giannis. Oh, you need to um, slow down. I, know, I think you actually have we all start. And then yeah. my yeah. favorite part was he listed these players, and then he said, it's an honor to be in the conversation with them. No, he's like, to which we, we were like, have, but we all have you started yeah. the conversation. We all have conversations with ourselves, like little inner <laughs> monologues and stuff. Yeah, like just that. not in front of a camera. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. You've got happy Zach and grumpy Zach. Yeah. So you've got all, I, all I'm just going to say that at 14, mm -hmm. They're crazy not to take Michael Porter Jr. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I think this yeah. guy, and you, you're, we're talking about does he have motivation? If the fact that he dropped to the, the 14th pick doesn't right. motivate him, right. I don't know what will. Right. I think this might be, we might be sitting here someday saying this was like. Well, how do you think he fits in with the Nuggets? I think he fits, if, if he 
is motivated, if he is healthy, all those things, he fits in with any team. He's an elite talent. Remember, this is a guy we were talking about going number one a year ago. And Denver's been looking for a big win. Yeah, for yeah, a forever. Long time. Forever. Time. And Wilson Chandler has a player option for next season, I think. So it's, it's either going to be he, he declines it or he's probably not on the Nuggets after next season. So this is, you know, again, the health, the motivation, everything like that. And he's going to a good team, too, with the, with the best passing big man in the exactly. world. I mean, it's a fun place to play. And I think they have one of the most underrated backcourts in the league too when you think about Jamal Murray and Gary Harris. I just like their utility players. They have right. a lot of good, good And he's pitch. a pick and pop guy, yeah, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, he can knock down that mid-range and the three. And yep. look, we thought for a long time the Nuggets were going to end up, you had that crazy race at the end of the year at the bottom part yeah. of the Western Conference oh, man. playoff yeah. chase and everything. It really came down to the last, every night, every, the last week was yeah. insane. Did you expect the Nuggets to be a playoff team? Um, no, because we were trying to get in. Well, I, <m <laughs> I, I, so no, oh, no, not at all. We were trying to get that spot. I mean, the 